Man, it's, it's magnificent right now. I'm trying to keep quiet for as long as possible. People can hear the wildlife around me. But the moon is just perfect. You're looking at Bethlehem and the lights above Bethlehem in the distance is Jordan. And then to the left of your screen right now, you're looking at Jerusalem. So right now on one screen, you have Jerusalem to your left and Bethlehem to your right. Not bad at all. Let's see what happens if I uh, bring it in a little bit. Whoop. Let's see how blurry that gets. There we go. Hey, Dan. Well, Paul, you can ask that, but, uh, you know, I wasn't online all day, so don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Trying to get the focus as good as possible for you. But what a moon over Bethlehem. Wow. Just ridiculous. Truly is beautiful, Adi. Now that's a close up. Hey, Adina. I'm afraid to move this camera. That's just perfect. Shalom to you, it is. I wish you could all be here with me right now, but. I figured out on patrol, a beautiful, quiet night. I should share it with you so you can enjoy Bethlehem over beautiful Israel with this gorgeous moon, clear skies, perfection. Yep, that's Beit Lechem. That's the moon, yeah. Isn't that magnificent? Bethlehem is sleeping. It really is, Sabrina. It's gorgeous out tonight. Beautiful Bethlehem under a gorgeous moon. Serenity. Hey, Etel. Hey, David. Hey, Jennifer. I figure I'll let people hop on and off just to see this view. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, Brian, I don't sleep too much. <laughs> Living here with these views, how could you sleep? Oop. Let's see, I'll pan out if I can. There we go. Yeah, I can hear them loud out here. Just stunning. What a picture. Again, you're looking at Bethlehem directly in front of you under the moon with Jordan off to the left and directly in front. And now you're looking at Jerusalem. The view is endless from here. It's the entire land. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I am about 
to continue on my patrol. Let me see if I can get you some stars here. One second. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, Tracy. Isn't this gorgeous? Here, let's look up together. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see anything. Probably not. So, anyways, I think everybody's seen enough. Let me bring you around here. And as I always like to show, to drive the point home, when anybody wants to talk about a two-state solution for Israel, number one, Jews don't need your solutions anymore. The last person who gave a solution for this land had a little mustache, and he supposedly killed himself in a bunker after killing six million of our own. Popo. <laughs> and number two, that is our current eastern border. And as you all see every time I make a video from up here, whoop, you're already looking way out towards your western border. So from one hilltop, you see the whole land. God bless you all from magnificent Israel in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night. And I love this tree and the fruits growing on it. And eventually we get to pick some. Let's see what it looks like. Let me put some light on here. Let's see, where's the fruit? There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. I go walking in my sleep From the mountains of faith To the river so deep I must be searching for something Anyways, back on my chariot to protect the crickets <laughs> From the evil jihadi crickets Have no fear, the cricket defender is here